I really love what the Y stands for. And I also knew that, I mean, I'm a Christian and I liked the fact that my child was gonna be where there are other people that have Christian beliefs. I was able to take him to, to work with me and then he got to where he was walking and it was hard to take care of him and do the invoicing and everything. So, you know, we decided to put him in daycare and the first day I was a nervous wreck not having my baby with me and I walked in those doors, tears in my eyes, scared to death, but I knew it was gonna be okay and they, they assured, reassured me. But I also had some issues because my child had some dietary issues with milk. He could not drink regular milk. He actually had to drink lactate, which is a specialized milk. He also was very finicky with his eating. And I mean, they would feed him a lot of times that he would not eat what they would actually have. And I always made sure I had a little dill jar of baby food in his bag. And if he didn't need it, the teachers always made sure that he got what he needed out of his diaper bag. So I always knew he was getting fed. You know, some, some places don't do that. You eat what they give you, but they always made sure he got his food. I just was comfortable with that, knowing that no matter what, my child was being treated the way I would treat him at home. Hi, Carson. He is actually a really sweet child. He really is very loving, loves to give hugs, kisses, and you know, just, uh, just a wonderful kid. Carson is the type of child that he is the perfect example of why we're here. He is a child that comes in and we teach him, or I feel that we've taught him to be a kind, respectful child that would never hurt anybody. And that's the perfect example of why we're here. We try to teach those children to go out there in the real world when there's no more YMCA and remember, you know, whether it was Miss Brenda or one of the other teachers that you went through, you know, be kind, be respectful, do something that, you know, that you're going to feel proud of and that your parents would feel proud of. Hello ladies, how y'all doing? Every class that he's ever been into, I've always had some sort of a relationship with the teacher. They've always, you know, known me by name. When I walk in, they call me by name and I've known their names and it's just, they've always, they took the time to get to know me as a person. I try to make it a point to greet them every single day, and I try to make it a point to tell them how their kids, um, how their children's day went. Well, it's just a relief knowing that when you drop your child off somewhere, they're not crying and want, you know, wait, can't wait for you to come pick them up. They're enjoying themselves. I mean, you know, that's that was the worst feeling in the world for a parent to drop their child off someplace and knowing their kid don't want to be there. And the fact that I know that he likes being here makes me feel good. It's not just coming to work and doing it because that's your job and you're going to get paid for it. It goes beyond that. It goes, um, it kind of goes like showing the love and the heart that you have for these children. I mean, I would never hesitate to tell somebody to bring their child to the Y. I would never, I mean, it's the best place to bring your kid. I have no complaints. They've always been good to me. They've always been good to my child and it's, I mean, it's greatly impacted my life where I don't have to worry. I mean, I can go to work and know everything's taken, he's taken care of. And for a parent, that's everything, everything to know that your child is taken care of. You shouldn't think twice about helping out the Y. It's a wonderful place that the kids enjoy coming to and where there is people employed that really don't come to just get a paycheck. It's people that work here come because they love children.